This is the ghetto free press and with your permission I'd like to ask a question. Why should any black or white right person or Japanese, German, Latino or any other person serve in the United States Armed Forces when they cannot ID the remains of their loved ones? Or when they have a 14-year-old daughter or son hogtied and lied upon according to a mother and father in Lowndes County? Or when they see 31 jail deaths in their community plus and it's not reported? Or when they find themselves as a student at VSU, Georgia Military College, Wiregrass Technical College, or even an active duty person at Moody Air Force Base, if they are stopped and charged under a criminal trespass warning or banned from any public property without justification or notification, or when they are restricted at a Lyons County Board of Education meeting and can't speak to the people that they vote into office, or when they go to a library and lie and have their names slandered, or when they find a speed trap in their community and try to get it corrected and no one will listen to them. Do you think, it has nothing to do with race or skin color, but do you think that those people should volunteer to serve in the United States Armed Forces? That's just a question. Or in the case of Kendrick Johnson, do you think that they should have a right to have a full-fledged investigation about their child? Do you think that they should have to fight just to get their body, their son's body exhumed? Do you think that a tape that looks like it may have been altered, or when you look and see that they say it was an accident and that no one was in the gym, What, what must we do? We need major changes. And we can only ask the question, how deep does the mold hole go? Not to mention the fact that the equipment 10 plus 2, after three years, have never had their day in court. And the one that did ended up in a mistrial. We had better wake up, y'all. We had better wake up. And so I commend the Johnson family as they take on the Lowndes County High School, the local sheriff department, the GBI and others, because in the end, we believe that truth will reign supreme, even if our local news media will not. And I am going to continue to do what I do, because it is the right thing to do.
This is the ghetto free press. I'm bringing this to an end. He said he was holding the Lowndes County Sheriff's Department accountable and Lowndes County High School. And he said that he's holding them accountable for his death. As I enter, hold on, listen, listen. This is the Ghetto Free Press by Bible God.